Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Paste Yourself. Today I'm going to talk about how the easiest way to reference a product image into CPQ um, and where to save those product images. So first of all, this is our product layout that we'd want to showcase our image on. And we ultimately have to add two fields to this object. And then we have to save our image in Classic, which I know personal experience, I would prefer to stay everything in Lightning, but this is the easiest way and most reliable way I have found it to work um, consistently. So we'll go to the product object. I'm going to add a new field. This field's going to be a text field. And we're going to call it product image ID. Going on, make it visible for everyone. We're going to hit save and new because remember we had to make two. So the next one we're going to make is a formula field to reference where that image is saved. So we're going to call this one product image link. I'm going to make it a text. So with the formula, there's a fair few help documents out there providing you uh, formulas to try, but some of them contradict each other. So process of elimination, I have found this formula to work the best. I will post it in the comments below this video as well. But see here we're referencing our product image ID field that we just created. So ultimately you're telling it to turn it into an image and give it a size at the end here. So we're going to put in this description, this will show the image, just so I know the difference between the two fields. Hit next, make it visible for everyone. Add it to all our page layouts and hit save. Just going to check I added them correctly. There we go, so we've got the two. One's the formula and one's the text field, which the formula is referencing. So now we're going to pre put our product into the document section of Salesforce Classic. So if you don't know how to get to Salesforce Classic, click on your little personal icon and switch to Classic, which brings up the Classic interface. And then we're going to go to our documents. So I'm going to go click adding a new document to our document folder called product images, choose a file, Here's my keyboard product I want to add to my files. And then it pre-populates the name for me and click save. So I just have to go back and edit it to make it externally available image. Click save. Perfect. So now it's there. While you're still on this page, go up to your URL bar and copy the record ID out of there, address bar. And now we're going to go back to our lightning product object. Refresh this page. So we're waiting for our two new fields and we're going to pre-fill our image. So click edit. So we've got here product image link and product image ID. So I'm going to put my ID from that photo of the product image I just made and click save. Perfect. So now that one pops up very visible. So remembering we created those two field product image link, which is referencing the product image ID, which future on your admin can turn off from being visible. And then going forward, you can only see the image. So that's the best and easiest way I have found to reference a product image in CPQ when the image is stored in the documents of classic. Thank you for tuning in with Pace yourself with me and Pacey.